So I wanted to have a little heart to heart with you and share with you some updates in my world because I made a video for you about six or seven years ago about my story and how I became a financial planner. And I wanted to, I guess, bring you up to speed and share a little bit inside my world as a busy working mum. So this is Sugar Mama TV. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned in the intro, I wanted to share with you just a little bit of updates as to where I am and what I'm doing because the last video I made for you was like, I think, six, maybe seven years ago. And so much has happened since then. I feel like my world moved very, very quickly and just kind of crazy. The shifts, breakthroughs, changes, even setbacks that kind of just happened along the way. So as you guys know, I met Tom about, I think seven years ago, we're coming up to our anniversary. And we had Apple, who is four and a half. And then we had Tiger, who is two and a half. And all of my babies are IVF babies. We moved home from my original home, which I lived in as a single mother and bought a home together as a couple. Now this in itself was a huge transition for me. One that I really struggled with initially because I was an independent woman, like hear me raw. And I was very nervous, particularly after going through the end of my previous relationship with Rocco's father about doing this all over again. Hi baby. <laughs> I was kind of like, clinging on to my sense of independence and not willing to guess open myself up to be vulnerable, which at times caused friction for Tom because he just wanted us to be a family and to be a unit, but obviously together we do it wisely and respectfully and obviously always uphold equality. So we bought a home together. We had Tiger and obviously Sophia sadly passed away at my King Charles Cavalier. And then we got Peppy who just walked in behind me, who's a red fox Labrador. But to take you back a step, when I was pregnant with Tiger, I had this a bit of awakening and I realized I just couldn't do it all. I couldn't run my financial planning practice and do sugar mama and have a third baby. You know, Tom works so much, he travels so much for work. I just couldn't and I hit a bit of a crossroad and I decided, well, I had to decide something had to go. So to me, the no brainer stepped up with inside me because for me, my passion is helping people. And what I realized is in my financial planning practice, as much as I love it and as proud of what I've built, I realized I can only help one person at a time. That one person sitting in a meeting with me. When I make a video on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or a podcast, I'm helping tens of thousands of people for free at the one time. And for me, that felt more of a calling in life. Helping people make wise, intelligent, educated decisions around around their money to help remove and hopefully reduce financial stress in their life where they can. So I remember standing at the traffic lights and I called Tom, I'm like, I can't do this. Something's gotta go. I think I need to sell my financial planning practice. It's gonna be a big change and I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I think I need to focus on sugar mama full time. And I was worried that he'd be like, no, we can't afford to do that. You're you know, throwing away stability and consistency. You know, you should do it the other way around. Just flick sugar mama off and focus purely on SAS. And he said, no, I've been waiting for you to make this decision for so long. I think this is a great idea. I think you should do it. And it took me about a year to actually get through the process of making this happen. And the moment I made that decision though, I felt instantly better. I felt this massive weight off my shoulders and felt like I could really step up and be of better service to everyone who watches my videos, reads my books or listens to my podcasts because that's what I truly love. And to be honest with you, if I won $100 million tomorrow in the lottery, I'd still be sitting here today because I really believe that the importance of education, in particular financial education. And we live in a world where this isn't taught. It's not taught at school or it's barely taught, just the, the basics. It's not even taught in university or TAFE or colleges. This is important life skills that there's just a big black hole out there because 
not many people are doing it. And I'm actually a licensed financial planner, so I'm qualified and I have a huge amount of life experience in me to be able to share so much with you. So from then on, I moved away from SAS Financial and I'm still in contact with my clients, but they are taken care of by an absolute brilliant financial planning team. So it is very comforting knowing that I haven't like, left anyone hanging, so to speak. And for me now, freeing up the space with Sugar Mama has been better. And it's also been better for my brain because instead of just crunching numbers all the time I'm able to actually combine the creativity side of me. If you know me for a long time you know that at school I studied French, business studies and photography. I actually got 100% in my photography so it's funny how the business studies and the photography uh, have kind of come together and, and formed part of my career path and I do truly feel so fulfilled and grateful for what I get to do every day and that I've been able to find my calling early in life. And whilst I learned how to speak French on a very basic level at school, it actually wasn't where my genuine passion and interest was. It was actually Italian. And as you guys know, I was learning Italian back when I first started my YouTube channel. Well, that did get put on pause for a while while I had my kids, but we're actually hopefully going to a wedding in Italy in July this year. So I'm back on the Italian bandwagon, learning Italian again and picking up all the bits that I hopefully are still sitting in my brain that I can tap into and bring back to life again because being able to speak another language to me is something really important to me and something I will be really proud of. We have now living in our home in Tamarama Beach which is right next door to Bondi Beach. We have Giuseppe who's getting older, uh, we have Peppy Truffle who's our two-year-old Labrador, I have my three kids and for me it's really about taking a step back. Becoming a mother of three I really realized I needed to understand and make peace with letting go of my, I guess, career, not dreams and definitely not desires, but my value system shifted and evolved and I had to move my goals with those values. For me, being completely present, for me, being there at the school gate, for me, helping with a project, for me, being there when they fall over or graze their knees or when they, you know, go to their ballet performance and do their first, you know, tap dance or whatever it means. That to me now is more important. That's where I am in my life and I need to, and I am working on enjoying that guilt-free and know that I'm worthy of that. And that's where my system and value system really lies. So I guess I just wanted to share with you where I'm up to, what I'm doing and why. And let you know that I am always here for you. I'm passionate about helping you and I seriously believe in you and what you can do by taking the things that I teach you and show you in my videos, in my podcasts, TikTok, Instagram, wherever you see me. You can apply these in your life at the right time that's appropriate for you and enjoy all the wonderful benefits that come from having a sense of financial stability wellness and independence in your world. So as always, I'm here, here every Thursday afternoon, and thank you so much for listening to this update. Sto imparando italiano, sono zucchero mamma. A dopo, ciao!